Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So promising Ukrainian heavyweight prospect Victor Vickhurst has just moved to 3-0 with three knockouts. He fought tonight in the Ukraine against the durable journeyman Gabriel Nguima. Now listen, when Nguima is not exactly a world beater, he is what he is, he's a fairly durable journeyman. But it is worth to be said that when Guima did actually manage to go the distance against Oscar Rivas, and that was a 10 round fight, and Guima has also gone the distance with guys like Edmund Gerber and also Franz Rill. So the guy's fairly tough and durable. So for Vic Hurst to knock him out in the third round in his third fight, in my opinion, is a pretty good result. Actually, Vic Hurst knocking him out in the third round is the quickest anybody's ever stopped Gabriel Nguima. So, all in all, a fairly impressive outing by the talented Victor Vic Hurst. Um, Vic Hurst, he knocked out Nguima in the third round. And quite frankly, Victor Vic Hurst was in control throughout. Um, he clearly won the first round, more authoritative. You know, he was picking away with a jab. Not too much happened in round one. But, you know, Vic Hurst was totally in control. Round two, Vic Hurst upped the pace ever so slightly. He actually hurt Nguima in the second round, um, but Nguima managed to get through it. And round three was where this fight ended, and the knockout was really impressive, you know. It was a great knockout to watch. It was a straight right hand from Vic Hurst that knocked out Nguima. He set it up with, like, a really quick jab. He threw the straight right hand behind it really quickly and it caught Nguima right on the chin. And yeah man, it was a really brutal knockout. Essentially, Nguima was out before he hit the canvas. You know, he was floppy before he went down, man. He was he was out of it. It was a brutal knockout from Victor Vickhurst. You know, one of those highlight reel type of knockouts as far as I'm concerned. Really good finish against a fairly durable guy. And uh, yeah, a good statement by Victor Vickhurst. I've done a couple of videos covering this guy on my channel, and I think Victor Vickhurst is arguably one of the best heavyweight prospects in the game right now. He's certainly, in my opinion, the best prospect nobody's talking about in the heavyweight division. As far as I'm concerned, the guy's got a really high ceiling. His jab in this fight at times was looking lethal, man. A real good ramrod jab, a quick jab. Nice faint game, uh, the straight right hand looking devastating, nice reactions, bouncing his feet, you know. He looks he looks like a real handful, Victor Vickhurst. He's athletic, he's powerful, he's got boxing ability, amateur background. Listen man, Victor Vickhurst, he's got a lot of potential, he's got a lot of tools and I really wouldn't be surprised to see this guy knocking on the door in 18 months time. I think the guy's very good, I think he can be somewhat... Uh, Fast tracked, and um, yeah, in maybe 18 months, two years' time, we're going to see this guy in and around contention level kind of thing. But um, yeah, man, I really like the look of Victor Vickhurst. I think he's a really, really good prospect, man, has to be said. Um, if you've not checked him out, check out some of his uh, YouTube videos. I think um, I think there's a few of his fights online now. So yeah, interesting prospect, Victor Vickhurst, and he certainly delivered tonight. Also, by the way, on the undercard, Ali Erin Demarizan, he actually fought Kamil Sakhalovsky. Uh, Demarizan obviously lost to F.A. Ajagba fairly recently. He went the distance with Ajagba. He gave Ajagba a few problems here and there. And he actually beat uh, Kamil Sakhalovsky on the undercard in a sixth rounder on points. A fairly competitive fight. Sokolovsky won a couple of rounds, but Demarizan was the rightful winner. Um, you know, maybe in a couple of fights' time, Victor Vickhurst versus... Ali Eren Demarizan. I think that'd be a decent step up in a couple of fights' time, to be honest. But um, yeah, man, interesting heavyweight card. Uh, Andre Rodenko is also fighting on the card. I've not seen his fight, though, so not sure whether he won or lost. But yeah, check out Victor Vickhurst. As far as I'm concerned, a really, really interesting prospect and potentially a problem in the future. Share your thoughts below. Been your boy, Del Boy. Peace.